Welcome back to Central Pennsylvania's Hidden History, a WTHA special presentation. Welcome back. This next story honors a woman who paved an uncharted path for women of color in meteorology, becoming the first African-American woman to be on air as a meteorologist. Lisa Teachman shares her journey from Kansas. I'm June bacon Bursey, meteorologist from the National Weather Service. She had a dream that became a legacy, all stirred up from the Kansas wind. Because it's going to be very dangerous out there in 45 mile per hour winds. She always loved the atmosphere. Uh, we grew up with weather balloons. Raised in Wichita, June Bacon Bursey would graduate from Friends University before earning her master's degree at UCLA. My mom was very focused on making sure we knew our roots. Um, and uh, Wichita is, is, uh, was home base to my mom. Daughter Dale St. Clair says her heritage was just as important as the future she was paving for meteorologists and women of color. From her perspective, she had the skills and the, and the clear path from a, an, an intellectual uh, curiosity to um, pursue a path that um, had not um, been paid before. Already cold air is still barreling down in the midsection of our country, triggering off a lot of snow up here in the western lakes. She started her TV career in Buffalo, New York as a reporter. But when the weather forecaster at her station was arrested for robbing a bank, she agreed to take the meteorologist's job. She'd go on to become the first woman, an African American, to be awarded the American Meteorological Society Seal of Approval for Excellence in Television Weathercasting. The weekend weather with June Bacon Bursey bears the seal of approval of the American Meteorological Society. Her career included working at NOAA, the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, and the National Weather Service, all at a time when men greatly outweighed women in scientific fields. She was obviously the woman, only woman in most of her classes. She faced, I, I think, more uh, issues with her gender than her race. She was an integral part of emerging technology. It's going to be a completely automated weather service office composed of television screens, a computer, and keyboards. Even as she had to defend her own education and knowledge. My mom was always about de definitions, um, so being when she was called a weather girl, she, she would smile and, and say how, um, you know, how proud she was to you know, be a meteorologist or, or something in the context that would incorporate exactly who she was, uh, utilizing the word meteorologist. Advancing the science of meteorology was a big goal of June's, particularly with women. That's what drew her to a network game show winning $64,000. Somehow she knew she was going to win something, but that was her vision of being able to start a scholarship for women in meteorology. Megan Bursey's passion for sharing her knowledge was evident throughout her career, even helping to develop science books for school children when she was in her 70s, leaving a legacy that paved the way for so many to follow. In Wichita, Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman for Hidden History. June passed away last summer at the age of 85. Her family is now working to restore the scholarship she started to encourage meteorological careers for women. These inspirational figures come from all across the country, and some have even served our nation. On D-Day, a black army medic, Corporal Waverly Woodson Jr., saved hundreds of lives on Normandy's Omaha Beach. According to witnesses, a German shell blasted apart the boat Corporal Woodson was in, now badly wounding him. Despite his injuries, Corporal Woodson set up a medical aid station and for the next 30 hours removed bullets, cleaned wounds, and saved soldiers' lives. Woodson passed away in 2005, but his story lives on. You can find more on his heroic efforts and the honor one lawmaker is pushing for him to receive by heading to our website, we're centralpa.com.